Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you doing today? Hope y'all are doing great and hope y'all are having a great day. And if not, hopefully you'll have a better tomorrow. So, like I said, we had you know two videos prior to this one. If you haven't watched them, then hopefully you will. Hopefully uh, you'll enjoy them and check them out. Um, but anyways, but today what I wanted to talk about was another theory discussion. And honestly, this one is actually a very intriguing one. Um, I think people can maybe speculate on this. But if not, well, I got a little something for you today. So, without further ado, let's talk about this. So we're going to talk about the man with two souls. And if I had to say, I think it is another, none other than this man right here, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows Ospin, which I'm pretty sure everybody has at least speculated that he is the man with two souls. And the reason why I say that is because, think about it, at the end of Volume 3, Cinder supposedly killed Ospin, but then he came to Oscar in Volume 4 in his mind. Now, that's kind of an interesting thing to think about, am I right? I mean, it's kind of strange. So, and if we remember back in Volume 1, if we remember in The Shining Beacon Part 2, Blake obviously is shown reading a book, and when Aunt Ruby asks her what the book's about, uh, you know, Blake then states that the book is about a man with two souls, each fighting for control over his body. Now, if that's something very interesting, you have to admit that that's a very bizarre thing to actually bring up. Because think about it like this. A man with two souls. Now, obviously, now we're at this point where Ospin is within Oscar. And guess what? This is not naturally Os or this is not Ospin's body. This is naturally Oscar's. And that's where it's he's got two souls in his body. Now, Oscar does. So if you actually think about this, very interesting thing to think about. You know, he has the memories of Ospin, you know, like whenever it was stated that, uh, you know, Ospin was the one he remembered, you know, Oscar remembered that Ospin actually gave the cup to, um, you know, Haven's, you know, headmaster, which, you know, is uh, uh, Leohart. And that's kind of an interesting thing that he, of all people, Oscar, would remember that he had never done. So in other words, you know, he remembers Ospin. So... I think their souls are obviously intertwined here, which I'm pretty sure you can think that as well. But where am I going with this exactly? Well, here's what I actually think. Now, as we know, he's talking to himself, and you know, people would typically be seen as crazy at these points. Well, I think at a certain point, Ospin is going to start to try to take control of Oscar's body, or completely twist it to where he is one being. Now, let's look at things like this, okay? Now, there is something called split personality disorder, or dissociative identity disorder. Now, if you do not know what split personality is, or dissoci dissociative identity disorder is, well, it is also considered multiple personality disorder, and here's the definition for this. Dissociative identity disorder, formerly referred to as multiple personality disorder, is a condition wherein a person's identity is fragmented into two or more distinct personality states. Now, that's actually very interesting. And it also goes on to say that uh, dissociative identity disorder is a severe condition in which two or more distinct identities or personality states are present in and ultimately take control of an individual. Now, think about that. Take control of an individual. That's kind of an interesting statement because Ospin is talking about, you know, he's talking to, you know, Oscar about, you know, these things that he's never seen before. And he's trying to get him to do certain things. Now, does that not sound like he's trying to take control of Oscar? Completely getting into his mind and completely re reworking his mind to the point where he takes over his body. So, I think it's going to come down to a possibility of Ospin and Oscar literally going head-to-head -head and fighting over control over this body. Because it goes upon what Blake stated in Volume 1, that it was about a man with two souls that fought over the body. This could be the point where Ospin might try to take control of Oscar's body, and Oscar might try to resist this, rather than becoming one individual, I guess you could say, giving in, per se, to Ospin. Now, that's actually a very interesting thing to think about. And, you know, if you think about it like this, it is also described to be an experience of possession sometimes. Some people refer to it as that. It's actually very interesting. And if we also look into this, it is like the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Or, you know, I think everybody's heard of that, you know, book before. Now, it kind of goes into that, and if you remember, if you've read that book, if you remember in the end of the book, you know, Mr. Hyde takes over of Jekyll, of Dr. Jekyll, in the end. He can't, 
it gets to the point where he could not use the serum, the chemicals that he was using to stop this regression so that, you know, uh, Mr. Hyde would take over. But in the end, Mr. Hyde takes over Dr. Jekyll. He loses who he is as a person. That's actually a pretty interesting thing to think about. And that's why I think Oscar is about to go through the biggest struggle of his entire life, fighting through Ospin. As we know as an individual, Ospin has a duty to protect people, you know, humanity, the world of Remnant. You know, at least that's what we believe, you know, or at least what we've seen in Ruby. So, I have to say, this has come down to being something very interesting. And I personally think that this is what might happen. This is what we might start to see in maybe Volume 5 or beyond. Who knows? But I feel like we're going to see Ospin and Oscar start fighting over control of the body. But that's just a theory. But, you know what? Tell me what you all think. I'd like to hear from you. And uh, hopefully this was, you know, a thought that you all might think was interesting or a good theory. But hey, it's all, it's all good. So, we're all just talking here. So you all take care. Have yourself a great day. And take care of the people around you. And we still got more coming tomorrow. So take care and have a good one, guys.